Hi everybody, let's warm up. For the YTW, use your mid-back muscles to move your arms and shoulder blades as you spell the letters Y, T, and W. Bring your arms back to center between each letter. Remember, keep tall posture without hyperextending your spine. Perform five of each letter. Thirty seconds of high knees. Keep that tall posture and move your knees up and down as high as you can, as quickly as you can, while pumping your arms. Fixed feet lateral lunges. Provide a dynamic stretch for our groin and adductor muscles. Move deliberately to prevent overstretching. Do five on each side. Reverse lunges with a twist help wake up stabilizing mechanisms all over the body. Step one leg back and twist towards the leg in front. You should feel a stretch along the front of the leg that's behind you. You can alternate to increase the challenge or perform all five on one side and then switch. Jog in place for 30 seconds to keep that heart rate moving up. Five runner touches on each side. Start like you're in mid-march and then hinge on your planted leg and reach out in front of you. If you struggle to maintain your balance, you can use your back leg as a kickstand. It's okay to wobble. It's how your body learns better stability. As soon as it feels safe, lift that back leg off the ground. Modified side planks with hip abduction. Start on your side with your feet together and one forearm directly below your shoulder. Use your knee to modify. Your top leg should be straight. Lift your hips off the ground until you are a diagonal line between your knee and your shoulder. When you're set in your plank, lift your top leg until it is at least parallel to the ground. Lower slowly and repeat five times on each side. Get up for 30 seconds of jump rope.
five walkouts to a push-up. Help warm up your shoulders, hammies, and core. Roll down into a forward fold, then place your hands on the ground. It's okay if you need to bend your knees. Walk out into a push-up position and perform a push-up. When you finish your push-up, walk your hands back to your feet. Get as close as you can before you have to bend your knees. five lunges with a windmill. If you have more space than we do, you can alternate in a forward walking lunge. We'll be lunging in place. A step back lunge makes the balance here a little easier. Get into a lunge position and then put your opposite hand on the ground close to your front foot. Rotate your body toward your front leg and put your other arm in the air. Reset and switch sides. seconds of jumping jacks. This part of the workout is a high intensity interval that can be repeated as many times as you want. We are gonna run through it once, but if you do it about five times with a one minute rest in between, the whole workout will take about 30 minutes. seconds of push-ups. If you modify by putting your knees down, be sure to drop them directly below where they would be in your push-up ready position. Thirty seconds run in place. Keep those arms pumping. seconds of squats. Try to get your femurs parallel to the ground and don't let your knees fall in or out. If you want, you can add some resistance with a kettlebell or a set of dumbbells. seconds of lateral bear crawls. First, get down on all fours. Knees under hips and shoulders under arms. Engage your abdominal muscles and lift your knees off the ground, just an inch or two. Maintaining this position, move four to five steps to the right and four to five steps to the left until we run out of time. You should feel your core working to maintain a neutral spine. Thirty seconds, right-sided 
single leg straight leg deadlifts. Plant your right leg with just a slight bend in your knee and hinge at your right hip, allowing your left leg to come off the ground until you feel a gentle stretch in your right hamstring. Just like the runner touches from the warm up, you can use the back leg as a kickstand if needed. Feel free to add resistance with dumbbells or a kettlebell. Thirty seconds forward, backward bear crawls. Set up just like you did for the lateral bear crawls. Don't let those knees get too high. Step your hands and feet forward five steps and backward five steps. You should feel this in your quads, abdominal muscles, and shoulders. Time to even it out with 30 seconds of left-sided single leg straight leg deadlifts. Now, 30 seconds, reverse T-spine bridges. Sit tall on your sit bones and place your hands behind you with your fingers facing away from you. Use your glute muscles to form a reverse tabletop position. Alternating left and right arms, lift one arm up and rotate through your middle back while maintaining that tabletop position, reaching towards the planted arm. Come back to the middle and then switch sides. When you're all done, it's time to cool down. We're going to walk in place for a little bit while we stretch our wrists and forearms. The stretch should be uncomfortable, but not painful. Five cat cows. Get down on all fours, arms under shoulders, knees under hips. One vertebrae at a time. Curl your pelvis under while putting your head between your arms. You should feel a stretch all along your spine. Then reverse the motion slowly. During this part of the motion, you should feel a stretch across your abdominal muscles, maybe even in your chest. Five rock backs. Start on all fours with a stable spine. Push your hips back toward your heels as far as you can. You should feel this in your lower back as a gentle stretch. Thread the needle to open book, five on each side. Start on all fours, take one arm off the ground and rotate your body like you're opening a book. On the way back down, slide that arm under your body and rotate toward the planted arm as far as you can. Reset and repeat.
You're all finished. Great job. Thank you for joining us today for our Wake Up, Work Out, and Get Healthy program sponsored by 511 Tactical. It's important for us at the National Law Enforcement Memorial to keep names off the wall and we'll continue to work with our Destination Zero program and officer safety and wellness initiatives to keep officers physically fit and mentally resilient. Thank you.